Wow, he's tough. Level 75. Now you want to mix it up. All right, are we going to get swarmed? Everybody wants to pick a fight. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival of that Abadol Guy Gaming, and we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, it is uh, actually quite a ways into the morning uh, because I was AFKing and uh, getting the last video ready to go. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to continue searching for an Argentavis. Um, that is our main goal. And uh, we're also looking for a Dodicarus, too, but I'd rather hold off on that until we get an RG so we can pick the dodec up and bring it back to safety to safety to tame it. Uh, so let's continue on here. I really, this is such a pretty spot, man. Get out of here, Piranha. Um, just, I don't know, I mean, be, before we really seriously get started with the build, we could reconsider the other, the other thing about this spot is there's not a ton of flat land for, um, you know, for raising our, our army. There's a little bit of a patch of land that way. And if we went over this direction... There's a fairly decent patch of land here. I'd have to talk to Stock about if he's got the setting on where you can't build near caves, because the swamp cave is just right up this cliff here. There is actually a decent amount of space here. It's still not going to be big enough, but... We could utilize, you know, multiple locations. Hey, there's a baby raptor running off by itself. Where'd you go? What level are you? You are 10. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not going to go for a level 10 baby raptor. There's no way to be able to keep it alive from here back to the base anyways. So, oh, I got to think about this. Um... This whole little section here could could be fenced off and it would make a nice yard. Still, like I said, not really big enough, but there's other places around the lake we could build. Uh, but one thing I want to check is if I... Can I put this down? Yeah, see, we're really close to the cave. Um, how far out could I put it down? Uh, up to the here, okay. I could ask Stock to turn that off, because it's not like I'm going to exploit the cave or anything like that. Because if we did it, I'd like to, you know, go all the way back to the end there. Um, strategically, in terms of just position on the map, the place we're at is better. This is just a lot more pretty, though, you know, a lot more picturesque. Right on the water, too. We could build our actual living quarters on the island. Um, that little plateau up there could be another, you know, fenced-off yard. Hmm. I will, I'll, I'll give that some thought. Um, in the long run, once I get set up where we're currently at, I think it's going to be better. But, you know, let's never say never. Let's not rule this place out either. We could also do a pretty decent sized yard uh, up in this little area here too. We'd really be, you know, taking over <laughs> this whole section, though. 
Um, but, you know, it's not like it's going to cause anybody any issues. Yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of flat area down here, too. So you, we'd almost have to have just, you know, multiple yards instead of just one big ginormous yard. We could make that work. You know, and, and because, you know, I'm this is mostly single player. And by the way, just a quick word on that. You know, Stock and I might team up for certain things like, you know, Mill Cave Adventures and maybe boss fights. But this is still a single player series, even though it's on a server with other people uh, for the most part. I'm just envisioning a really cute little shack on that island, you know, and it doesn't have to be huge because it's just us. It doesn't have to be a really big base. Like, you know, the base that I built, the living quarters that I built on Fjord were just <laughs> a little bit larger than they needed to be. Uh, there, it was a cool base, though. It really was. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to give this some thought. Um, like I said, I'm not going to rule it out, but for the moment, we're going to keep our base of operations where it currently is. I do like that spot along the river, uh, and again, it's just strategically it's just such a much you know much better place. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue on here. Time's a wasted. Is that a micro raptor over there? Where did I see that little bastard? Yeah, no, it's an uh, archiparatix. I have to figure out how to pronounce it. <laughs> An Archie. We'll call them Archies. Yeah, let's do that. We'll call them Archies. Oh. Okay, for a second there, I thought I saw a Thylo hanging off the edge of that tree trunk. Some Carnos fighting down there. Those are all pteranodons. They have a, a distinct sound to their wing flaps because it sounds more like leathery wings flapping as opposed to an Argentavis, which sounds more like feathery wings flapping. Oh, those dimorphs wrecked that carna. Okay, well, let's start moving this direction. You know, I should have, well, I should have made the the super spyglass before we left the base. Um, or at least we should have grabbed some crystal when we were up on the mountain. Okay. Okay, this one... Man, they're all over the place. Alright, if they pull me off, then he's he's going to get him After he decides to finish uh, his lunch. Oh yeah, get the Parasair too while I'm dismounted. That was a great idea. <laughs> Shit. All right, I want him to get the kill. Nothing like micro raptors to ruin your day, man. I tell you what, these guys are bastards. Get over here. Oh, did I kill you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, for Pete's sake! All right, you still have a metric crap ton of prime on you, so we don't need more prime. Let's get hide. Three hundred and eighty-three hide, nice. This is a pretty nice wide open space too. It's just not very flat. I mean, it's flat, but it's slanted. You could set up a pretty nice big base here on the river. Oh, 
That's a 95 bear. This is a pain in the ass terror bird. Do you guys give um, pelt? I don't remember. No, you don't. Okay. The bears do. Yeah, shoot, man. If you didn't mind having a a sloped base. Oh, here we go again. A sloped base. You could uh, base up here. All right. As soon as you knock me off, you're dead. That's the way it goes. Well, unless you chicken out and fly away. Don't get too far away, Drake. I can't see. I've noticed a weird thing with the trikes, and I'm not sure. Oh. There's a big uh, queen bee over there. Uh, do we have any wildflowers? We don't. Hmm. I do back at the base. We, we're going to want to tame. Yeah, see, look at her right there. We're going to want to tame a, a bee or five for honey. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, I'm not exactly sure what we harvest to get rare flowers in on the island. I'm trying to remember. It used to be, I think, like reeds along the water. I've kind of haphazardly come across them a time or two. If that bee is here, then that means there's probably a hive really close by, too. Sometimes they're up on the trees. Okay. Well, um, tell you what I'm going to do. Let's, um... mark this so I know where to come back to look for that bee. There's no guarantee it'll still be here, of course, but it could be. I try and mount up before I'm done being stunned. I just access the inventory. Are you are you dead? No, you're not. Get over here. You're gonna be dead. Wow, he's tough. Level 75. Now you want to mix it up. All right. Are we going to get swarmed? Everybody wants to pick a fight. Here we go again. Good work, Garita. Way to gore that thing, Gorita. You're living up to your name. Okay, uh, man, there's just not a whole lot of Argies around, are there? What the hell? <laughs> if if I go around in ghillie armor, will these guys not attack me? Such a pain in the ass. Uh, we gotta kill you. Just stealing my shit. said he stole some cooked prime meat. Huh. 
What's the matter with me? Oh, speaking of which, I need to eat. Oh, shit. Of course they steal your meat right when you need to eat. All right. We're going to have to... We're going to have to drop down a campfire here. I shouldn't really be keeping stuff in the zero slot or, well, I, I just need the zero slot as a thing, but that's where they steal your stuff from. Do you have anything to eat inside of here? You got berries. Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's do let's do this. Let's shout out on some berries for enough. Oh. I do have some cooked prime in my my thing there. I think I'm going to turn harvesting off on you for now. It definitely rains a lot uh, in the, in Redwoods. Well, I don't, I don't know if rain on the island is the whole island or just certain biomes. But um, that's a good thing, though, because it helps us stay hydrated and fills up our, our wells. So not complaining about that. All right. You know what? That's good enough for now. Let's Let's take this with us. Uh, we don't need that stuff. That way we can use it again the next time the Pego steals all of our food. There's another bee. Maybe they're, maybe they're more common than I think they are. I, as far as I know, as long as we have wildflowers in our zero slot, we can just run up those things and feed them and tame them. But the hard way, of course, is to break them out of their hive, but then that's a, a big fight. It's been a long time since I've actually done that because S Plus has a, a bee, a, what they call a domesticated beehive, which is pretty easy to do comparatively. Uh, that's a turn it on. Where are all the redwood RGs today? They've decided I'll. Go on strike or something. Guess they knew I was coming for him. Another level five. Uh, is that a? What the hell is that? Oh, uh, that's an iguanodon. Okay. It sort of at first it kind of looked like it was a um, capro. The problem with the the trike for the bugs is it knocks them back so far away that it's really hard to find them. There were two raptors up here. I don't know what happened to the other one. I'm just picking on some compies, it looks like. You know, with as many bugs as there are here in the Redwoods, we should maybe... Consider taming ourselves a frog. Okay, there's an argent down off to the left. Let's see if we can get a glass on it. Twenty-five. Nope. Not good enough. Ooh, look at that green dodic. Level ten. Of course it's level ten. an arch right there and it is level 90 okay that's a candidate for sure it's the best one we've seen so far and that's a 25 getting eaten by a carno all right that 90 is probably going to be our bird we're really close to base too but uh, well, I don't want to get close, so close to that arch that I aggro it until we're ready. Well, 
Wait, what level is that? That's a 50. Okay. It's tough for a level 50. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You stay put, you stay passive, but don't let me die. Let's get this place down first. Okay, so we want that side to be the opening. Okay, we want you to be the to go up uh yeah like that and then we want you to go there and you should open inward all right you ready for this garita hopefully nothing eats me well, i'm going after it Seriously? I missed that? Look at that. It is a beautiful thing. All right, hold on. Oh, that is just so clever. Captain Fat Dog is the one that came up with this idea. Um, and you guys told me that in the comments, so thank you again. What a nice, nice little setup. Super simple. Ah. Do we get headshot with Argies? Of course that would have to show up. And that too. That's only a level 10 bird. Okay, game, can you just, like, give me a little bit of a break here? It's better for this to happen before the bird goes down, though, than after it does, because after it does, then we lose taping effectiveness. Uh, ooh, wow, look at the... Look at this, nice! A nice bow, a nice pick. Is that helmet better than what we're wearing? Not quite. Actually, you know what? I need to quit screw <laughs> I need to quit screwing around with the loot. We gotta get this bird down. Okay. So a headshot is 39. A body shot is 39. So yeah, there's no headshot. It doesn't appear to be in any headshot bonus on these guys. So we'll just shoot it in the ass. Not the most colorful bird on the island, but level 90's not too bad. Okay, it's in runaway mode. Well, I think it is, I don't know. And she's down. Okay. Now, I don't know... Uh, I don't know what our taming settings, uh, whoops, are going to do. This might be really OP or it might be way too long. Uh, but we will, you know, we'll make adjustments as needed. Look at that baby raptor. Where'd you go? I hear the little pitter-patter of his feet, but can't see him. There he is.
What level are you? You're 55. Okay. If you can survive and make it back to camp, we'll make you one of our yard guards. We need to get some food on that little feller. Where is he? <laughs> He's so small I can't see him. Damn it. Get out of here. Yeah, I I probably better stay on top of the trike so I have a little bit higher view and we can intercept things. I just want to see what's going to happen on the first bite here, though. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, okay, stock gaming, if you're watching this video, <laughs> we're going to have to adjust that. Oh my god, I could... I <laughs> okay, we'll we'll get it fixed, guys, so that it's it's the way that it should be. But I'm not going to pass this guy up. We need him. Or gal, as the case may be. Ah, shit. Okay, um... What are we going to name you? Well, I guess we should probably find out if you're a girl or a boy first, right? Can we just... Yeah, uh, boy. Okay. Um. So, okay. I want everybody to be passive. I want everybody to follow me. Let's take, uh, let's take this apart. I, w <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that, that easy. <laughs> Good lord. So, if we pick up the foundation, I think we automatically get all the other stuff. Let's test that theory. Yes, we do. Oh, man, that is so nice. That is really nice. Okay. Camp is just right over here. Garita, don't step on the baby raptor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back home with our level 134 Arch and Tavis. Um, oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, and we even got ourselves a little yard guard, too. So what I'm going to do is get a saddle made for this thing, get it leveled up a little bit, and then we're going to go out in search of a Dodicarus uh, in the next episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did... Uh, Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.